is one of my absolute favorite stories of all time, Stranger in the Woods by Carl R. Sams II and Jean Stoik. And this story looks exactly like our own McNaughton Park. I love to go out there and hike around and see the footprints and evidence of the animals that live in the forest and share our beautiful world. Let's find out who the stranger in the woods is in this story. This book is dedicated for those who protect wild places and to the snowman that lives in every child's heart. The snowflakes were resting after their twisting, twirling dance through the crisp night air. Every twig in the forest wore a new coat of glimmering white. It looks just like someone frosted them with the whitest icing sugar. Daybreak came softly moving through the woods and yawning as its rays slowly stretched across the snowy meadows. The birds were the first to notice. Stranger in the woods, stranger in the woods, take care, take care, the blue jays caught. Caw, caw, a warning from high in the tops of the tall oaks. Do you hear the jays calling? Mother Doe spoke softly to her fawn. Yes, he whispered. I always listen to the birds, the wind blowing slowly through the trees, the rustling of the leaves, and all the sounds of the woods. All of those sounds help keep the deer safe. Stranger in the woods, stranger in the woods, who, who, who's in the woods? Where, where, where are, did the jay say? Where is he? asked the owl of many questions. Oh, 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 could that be him? asked the morning dove. There, beyond the old apple tree, follow the snow trail past the pond to where the meadow begins. Not far, not far at all. And here we see all kinds of footprints leading along a path through the woods. Who, who, who's in the woods? Why, why, why is he here? When did the stranger come? asked the owl of many questions. Well, I've been here since early morning before the first pale light of the eastern sky, said the munchin muskrat. No stranger came this way. No one passed by my pond. So the muskrat didn't see anything. I followed the snow trail under the light of the winter moon, answered the buck. He was not there during the night. That I am sure. So the buck was watching over his family and he didn't see a thing. As the animals moved through the snowy forest, they came to the edge of a meadow. The frightened doe stomped her hoof and snorted. Where is he? Where is he? Can you see him? Yes, yes, I do see him, chattered the squirrel. Someone needs to go and check him out. So they're all very curious about this stranger in the woods. They've never seen anything like this before. We'll go, let's go see, asked the owl of many questions. Now don't you be looking at me. I'm much too busy choo choo chewing on my antler, sputtered the porcupine. He's not interested at all. He just wants to be left to eat his breakfast. You'll not be monitoring me, no siree, said the scared rabbit. Is, is, is he watching me? Howdy dee, it's me, the chickadee dee dee. I will go, I will take the lead. He's not scared at all. I'm, 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 I'm the smallest. And I can can scamper quickly. I'll do it. I'll make a tunnel under the snow where only I can go. Creeping in closely to get a look. Quietly, just like a little mouse. (laughs) Let it be me. Let me go, volunteered the fawn. I can do it. I know I can. I am the strongest and the biggest, said the young buck. I should go first. 
I can fly faster, chirped the ch- cardinal, but I can run like lightning and I have antlers, boasted the buck. But, but, but I am red, announced the cardinal, not knowing what else to say, and he is impressively red. And now the deer and the cardinal are running a race to see who can get to the stranger first. What are you waiting for? I'm already there, dee 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 dee, said the chickadee dee dee. And look it, he's perched on that snowman's nose. Chee chee chee, said the chickadee dee dee. There are nuts and seeds on his hat for you and me. This stranger is friendly. Come see, come see. There's plenty. I can see there's something for you, said the buck. Could it be there's something for me? My nose is leading me to corn, buried beneath the snow. And look at here, we see the downy woodpecker, the chickadee, all kinds of tasty treats for the animals. And what do you think is going to happen next? I found a treat that I can eat, said the young doe as she reached out to the stranger. (laughs) She took a bite out of his nose. Wow, a carrot. Do I have to share it? Do you think she should? (laughs) What is this? questioned the fawn as he passed a curious object in the snow. Could it be there's more than one stranger in the woods? What is that he found? Do you know? I think that's another story that you can read. After the corn was gone, the animals left the snow trail one by one and disappeared into the winter woods. It was the chickadee who took the last seed and flew away. The snowman stood alone, but only for a short time. They have eaten everything, even the carrot nose, whispered the little sister peeking out from behind the evergreens. Let's put out more seeds and corn before they come back, encouraged the brother. The animals will never know we were here. How long will we feed them, she asked. For a long, long time, he replied. After the snow has gone and the snowman has melted away until the frogs start to sing and the trees grow new leaves. You know when that is. In the spring, our favorite time in garden time. I think they like the carrots the best. The end all in carrots. And I want to say what these kids did was a very kind thing to do. It is so fun and it is so important that we help to take care of our animal friends when food is scarce. They have committed to caring for those animals all winter long because food will be scarce and it will be hard for many of the birds and deer and groundhogs and things to find enough food to eat. So what a kind, loving thing for those children to do. And you can do the same thing too. You can put out bird seed, you can put out peanuts and corn, you can make uh, pine cones with peanut butter and bird seed and hang them in your trees and that is a fun way for them to get a good meal. Peanut butter and suet is a really important food source for birds because it has a lot of fat and in the winter animals need a lot of fat in their diet to stay warm. There's also animals that don't have homes, kitties that might be in your neighborhood You can put out a bowl of food and a bowl of water to help them if they are lost from their families or need a little bite to eat. I have my old pal Cece that comes and visits me twice a day and sometimes three times a day and I feed her a nice meal of chicken and dry dry food and a bowl of warm cream. comes and depends on me. She doesn't want to come in the house, 
but I have accepted responsibility f for her as a member of our family. And we do the same with the animals. We put out all kinds of different foods, like the suet and the peanut butter and the different types of flower seeds, and they eat them all winter long. It's a very fun thing to do because you can watch them eating. One of my favorite things I like to do for my squirrel buddies is make, take old dry toast or dry bread crust and put peanut butter and then cut them into little one inch pieces that they can pick up with their hands to eat. I enjoy watching them, enjoying their special treat out in my trees and in the yard. It's one of the great joys of, of my life and it makes me feel good to know that the animals trust me to help care for them and in the summer I plant flowers that they can eat the seeds, especially sunflowers. They love sunflowers and coneflowers and it's a great way to beautify our word, world and care for the animals that live in our world. That help us in so many ways. A lot of them are pollinators. A lot of them just give us joy by doing their funny little antics, uh, rolling around and chasing each other and things like that. So I encourage all of you to be like these kind kids and help the animals in your big backyard or out in the forest. Uh, you just never know, you might save them from going hungry in the winter.